Before I start this video, I would just like to extend a huge thank you to Vlam's Redstone Lab for suggesting that I just create a sweeping armor stand motion, because I have managed to use that concept to create cylinders and spheres in less than a second, other than that really slow method over there. Beforehand, I used this weird spread players method and it just took ages to create, but now I am using item frames, and I'll explain that in a moment. But I'm using witch spawn eggs. I will explain all this, but here we go. Let's set the block here to stone. Now it works anywhere in the world. Let's create a sphere, and you will see this happens, and oh my god, that is fast. I mean, Oh, it did take me a good hour to come up with, but um, I'm hoping no one has done this concept before because I feel like I'm the only one, but I actually have not looked it up yet, but we'll find out. And the cylinder, which can be made, oh, just, yes, it's just perfect. So I will start off with the sphere because that's the most simple. Now, it took me a while to figure this out, but here's how it works. Relative to the witch, okay, so let's start with the sphere. It detects for a witch called Create Hollow Sphere. It will fill a, a large area with Torch 3. Now the reason why Torch 3 is because Torch 3 is like a map mounted to a wall like this. I will demonstrate to you right now. That's Torch 3. So the reason why I use Torch 3 is because it has less chance to mount against a wall. Right? And then what happens is it will summon an armor stand called Hollow Sphere. And then it will summon, it will kill the witch, but then relative to the, okay, relative to the Holy Sphere, I haven't actually done that yet, but it will set all torch items a score, right? So if I just, so when torches get set in midair, they immediately become an item. So I thought I'd use that. So once they become an item, they get a score. And then what happens is, they summon an item frame called Draw Sphere. I'll explain why it's an item frame in a moment. And then it will kill the item. That simple. And then what happens is it teleports the item frame towards the sphere. And then it adds a score to it and then kills it when it reaches a certain score. And of course, there's the set block part, which just goes right outside a radius of seven within a radius of eight. And that's all there is to it. Now the reason why I'm not using arm stands is because the unique thing about item frames is that they are entities which lock on to a grid. They, they lock on to a grid and no other entity does that as far as I'm aware. Armor stands, they will teleport exactly to where the torch is and so you'll have some areas where there aren't torches and so you'll get a, a really funky looking sphere. I mean it does look a little random but it's not perfect. So if you want a randomized sphere, then I recommend using armor stands instead of item frames. The thing about item frames is that they will always lock on to a target, and therefore creating this kind of thing. So now, I just want to go over the cylinder. Same concept, except it's instead of a set block command, it's a clone command, which clones this area right here. And with the fill, it doesn't... It only fills the torch on the same y-axis as the armor stand. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Concepts. Thank you again to Vlam Redstone Labs. Um, I hope this hasn't been done before. I actually have not checked. I should probably research that. If, if someone's already done this before, then I'll be very disappointed. But oh well. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.